Hey everyone, Hammer Dan here with Hammer Performance. So today we're going to show you how to take the cam cover off and remove the cams in a Sportster motor slash Buell motor. Um, first of all, watch our other video on removing the top end on how to take the rocker box assembly off because you'll need to remove the rocker box assembly and alleviate spring pressure up on top so that we're able to remove our cam cover and pull the cams out of there. Again, very, very important. Make sure you watch disassembling or removing the top end of the bike, or at least the rocker box portion of that uh, to be able to remove the cams out of, out of the bike. <clears throat> so at this point, some of the basic tools that we're gonna need, we're gonna need a 3 uh, Allen, whether it's a socket Allen or whether it's um, Allen wrenches themselves. Um, you'll need a ratchet set. Uh, if you have a socket Allen to go ahead and pull the, uh, the cam cover bolts out of there. Um, you'll need to remove your points cover. Um, sometimes they're riveted on, so you may need to use a drill and a um, drill bit to go ahead and drill out the rivets to get that cover off of there. You can re-rivet it afterwards if, if you'd like. Some guys have aftermarket covers on there, so depending on what yours is, you may need to remove the rivets on there. On the later model fuel-injected bikes, um, you will not have to go into the, into the points cover area. There's nothing behind there. It's just a cover. Um, uh, only on the carbureted bikes will you need to go in and, and remove the points cover and, and take those parts out of there to get the cam cover off. So we'll get started here. Um, we need to remove our cover here to get behind that. So we're using an eighth inch Allen. These are eighth inch bolts here. We'll go ahead and get this off of here. Again, keep yourself very organized so you know where everything goes back. Cardboard is a good way to do that. Punching holes and keeping bolts all aligned. So there we go. We have our front cover off. And as you can see behind that, we have a plate. So we will need a Phillips screwdriver to remove these to get behind this plate here. Got those. Just pull this plate out of there. Okay, so as you can see in there, we have our timing pickup. Uh, We're gonna go ahead and remove these two standoffs here. This is where you go ahead and static time um, the bike down here with your pickup. But we need to get this all out of here so we can pull the cam cover off. So I'm going to slide this out of the way here. So there's a plug underneath your bike here um, for this sensor here. Um, if you want to take the cover completely off, you can go ahead and unplug that plug. If you're just swapping cams out, you won't necessarily need to unplug it. We're just going to unbolt it, slide it off, and then just let it hang and set it aside. Okay. Um, so there is our... Pick up there, oh, we need to get in, and that is a 5 16th. So we may need to hold the crank if we can hold that. Oh, she's on there tight. And again, when you put this back on, you want to use a lot of, you want to put a drop of red Loctite on there. You don't want this, this coming off of here. Remove your timing cup here. Okay, we'll remove that bolt out of there. Timing cup should come out of there. Now keep in mind, on your cam, on your number two drive cam, there's a notch in there. If you can see that notch that's in there, okay, that notch is going to line up with the notch 
on the back of your cup here, this little notch right here. Okay, so that's very, very important when you put it back together that we get those, not those notches lined up there. Okay, so we have that off. We are now ready to go ahead and remove our cam cover. And again, on the fuel injected bikes, you won't have any of this down there since you have crank position sensor on the front of the bike there instead of timing pickup down here. We're going to go ahead and loosen all these. So keep in mind, if you're swapping cams out, if you're looking to go a little more industrial look on your cam cover here, we do have a service to cut down the cam cover. Looks pretty trick, allows you to see more of the oil lines and everything down below. If you look right behind you, you'll see on my Buell there, we have, our, have that cam cover cut down. Looks pretty cool. So if you're interested and you're swapping cams and Good time to set it, send it in, have us cut it down for you if you're looking for, for that cool kind of look. Now, I will be honest, sometimes this cam cover can be a PETA to get off of there. It'll stick. So don't get frustrated. Easy rubber mallet. We'll see how this one comes. It's pretty corroded. This one may be a PETA as well to get off of here. Just keep tapping at it lightly. You'll eventually get it to pop off of there. Okay, so there's all of our bolts. Make sure they're good. Yeah, she not come at all. So let's grab my rubber mallet here. Okay, so again, rags, you're going to have oil in there, we're going to end up making a mess here, move things out of the way so we can wipe it up when we're done. Put all different kinds of rags there. So don't be concerned when you slide this off if the cams come with it, sometimes they will. That's okay, you're replacing them anyways. We're gonna go ahead and pull this right off. Just wiggle it right off of there. Sometimes the gasket sits. You can see behind, we also have our drain or our vent hose here that's with it. So we can kind of pull that through. There we go. So as you can see, our number one and number two cams stuck with it. We just slide these right out of here. Okay, our number one will slide right out of there like that. Number two will slide right out of there like that. Okay, we can go ahead and set this aside like that. And then our number three and number four slide right out of there. Very, very simple. They slide right in and out of the bushings that are in there on a Sportster model and the, the earlier model Buells, which is basically a Sportster engine. It goes one, two, three, four from left to right. On the Buell XBs, it's gonna go one, two, three, four from right to left. Okay, just keep that in mind. But for the Sportster guys, again, very simple to do. At this point, if you wanted to send out the cam cover, you need to unplug this harness right here, or this wiring clip, okay, and, uh, and disassemble the plug and slide your timing, timing pickup out of there. Otherwise, you could leave it in there. We surely could do that for you, no big deal. Um, you'll pull your vent hose off of there. 
So this is what it looks like internally. Okay, clean up your gasket surface, all that good stuff really, really well. You have your oil pump and the drive gears in here. Very straightforward on taking cams off. So at this point in time, if you're, if you're swapping cams, okay, and we'll do a video, of course, on how to put the cams in. Get all that old gasket off of there. Um, we'll do a video on how to put the cams in the bike. Um, but we highly recommend that you replace the drive gear here, the oil pump drive gear with a bronze oil pump drive gear. I don't know if you can see a little bit of wear on that one there when you look at it, but uh, you know, us spinning this motor up pretty high, we highly recommend swapping that out. So, um, you know, at, at a time here, we'll go ahead and, uh, and swap that out as well, and we'll show you how to do all that. Um, we've showed you, uh, you can check out our video on our YouTube channel there on installing the bronze oil pump gear. Um, for the most part, that's how we disassemble the cam box. Again, reference our top end removal so that we at least get the rocker box uh, assembly loosened on the bike to alleviate any spring pressure that's on the push rods, that's on the lifters, that's on our cams, so that when we go to pull the cam cover off, we don't break cams or break the cases stuck in the cams with all that spring pressure very important again make sure we at least remove the rocker box bases the rocker arm assembly there to loosen spring pressure before we go to swap out cams you don't have to pull the heads in the cylinders off if we're just swapping cams but we do need to at least loosen and remove and it's easier to pull the push rods out and whatnot you should replace all the seals anyways at least in a rocker box top there um, but pull the push rods out and then go ahead and, and go through the process here of removing our cam cover to get the cams out of the bike. So again, any questions, comments, shoot them down below. Much appreciated on that. Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Peace out.